Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we're going to be finishing up the week with this team you can see on your screen in front of you. It is consisting of Kyogre, Tapu Koko, Rayquaza, Cinderor, Tornadus and Cartana. The team as always is down in the description below. There is a roll paste and poker paste. You can check it out, try it out if you'd like to. And if you do try it out, do let me know how you get on with the team. And um, we'll just hop straight into it today. As always, if you do enjoy this sort of content please remember to drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content and leave your comments down below let me know what your thoughts are on this team this week but we are sitting at 8-0 at the minute we've uh, had some really nice games so far this week and uh, hopefully we can finish up flawless that'll be super nice to get back into the 2020 season um and like i've been saying all week this team's super com like super comfortable, uh, super consistent. It's got answers around most things, um, so it's a nice one for us to kind of kickstart off with. And one of the reasons as well why it was a good option to start off the series is because it, of the archetype that it is, the Rayquaza Kyogre. I think it's quite an easy one to pick up, and especially for the newer players out there, to start playing with and learning the format and getting involved in the competitive scene. So uh, if you are starting out in VGC and um, you're wanting to play this season and you're looking for teams, ideas, go back, watch the episodes this week. You can see how the team operates and use the paste and just have a bit of fun with it. So hopefully it is helpful, at least to some of you and uh, for everyone else, I hope it's been entertaining that you don't want to play it, but you've just enjoyed the matches this week. We're just hopping on, so hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our opponent. Uh, first one of the episode. It's been taking ages this week. There's like no one on the battle spot. Um, but uh, what we'll do to hurry things along is I will just cut things, just cut this right now, and we'll come back when we find our first opponent of the episode. And we've got a first opponent of the episode. We've got Delana. Delana. Uh, and we'll get straight into Team Preview. Oh, this looks like so much fun, Does, doesn't it? I mean, it's going to be Gravity, Hypnosis, Spam. Uh, you've even got Sheninja and Tapu Fini for the Soul combination in there as well. So lots of fun things going on here. Uh, consisting of Groudon and Mewtwo, the restricted pairing here. You've got supporting cast of Tapu Lele, likely going to be scarfed on this team, especially providing the Gravity support, I'd imagine, for, for the rest of the team, especially that Drift Blim. It does have that unburdened ability. It'll have the Psychic Seeds doubling its speed. It probably will underspeed the Tapulele, so we can see the gravity hypnosis combination there and then you've got the Shininja and the Tapu Fini so gonna be a great 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 team for us to to start with um Tapu Koko gonna be hugely important for us in this matchup because uh we need to be able to stop the hypnosis spam for sure uh I mean we, I think what we'll do is go Tapu Koko we'll go Tornadus we'll go Kyogre and do I want Incineroar or Rayquaza? Probably Rayquaza uh, as our last one here. Um, yeah, yeah. let's go for that four, and I think we'll be all right. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be all right. Spicy team for us to kick off with today, though. These are always ones that um, normally cause us quite a lot of trouble, but I feel like we've got ways around this um, team today. So, um, very reminiscent of... Um, and Mr. Anderson's team. Be nice to see. I hope Baz has made a, a QR code uh, of the team because I'd like to play it on stream at some point. It'd be it'd be a lot of fun, I think. So we are gonna see. We're gonna see the. Uh, I guarantee it. We'll probably see a uh, sock sock shenanigan, won't we? Um, does the Tapu Fini have protect? I really feel like it would be. It would be the worst thing in the world if we go Volt Switch into the Tapu Fini. Tailwind. Or do we want to Volt Switch and taunt the Tapu Fini to prevent? Because I can see the Groudon switching out right now. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for... I'm going to taunt this Tapu Fini. Problem is... The problem is, is the Lele coming in for the Groudon and Gravity being set up. But that isn't the worst thing in the world, I don't think. Let's go for the Taunt into the Finny. No! It's going to be going out. Okay. Oh, Shininja. Okay. Oh, that is the worst. That's even worse for us because we're not even going to get the Volt Switch off now. 
Excellent. Uh, Groudon's gonna make mincemeat of our um, of our poor type of cocoa. Oh, it's eruption as well. Oh, that's like everything going. Oh, the tornado just hangs on. That's fine. Okay, that's all right. Okay. Procaberry. So it's not the worst thing in the world. We'll get Kyogre onto the field now. And uh, we do have Hurricane as well that we can hit the Shininja for decent damage with. I'd imagine the Groudon will switch out the four. Um, it's have to Finny, I think. It's next turn. Uh, yeah, I'd imagine so. That's probably what will happen. Groudon will go out, tap Finny, come back in. But in on that logic, it might be better to switch Kyogre out into Rayquaza. But I just want to get some damage onto the field, and we've got to start hurricaning this Shininja, I think. Take it down to its sash. It is taunted, so it's not going to be able to toxic anything. It'll just be able to attack. So, but it's not going to pick up a knockout on anything. Uh, we could have tailwinded here as well. Could have been an option for us, but I think at this point it's more important to try and get rid of the Shininja. We're going to see it switch out. Type of Finny come in. What's a Groudon going to do? Groudon has to switch out. It just protects. That's fine. I don't mind getting it. Um, Hurricane and a water spot into the, the thing because it'll potentially be in range. Maybe. Next turn from a, from this, a similar combination. Um, mm, it's going to be close, isn't it? We'll go for the taunt again and a water spout. Uh, I do want to taunt the finny though. Or do I? Really do I? Because. It's definitely got Sulk. It's 100% got Sulk. I'm just not falling for this. I'm going to taunt into the Finny because I just don't want this stupid Sininja being a water type. Yeah. Sit on this Finny. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. No! <laughs> oh, no! Oh! Now we've lost. I can't do anything against it. I don't think. Yeah, I've got no Tapu Coco left. We can't win this match now. Oh, mental herb. Oh, you kidding. What can we do against Shininja now? We can timer stall it, but like our time's probably not that great. Oh, this is the worst. Oh, man, this sucks so much. Let's have a cocoa when you need it. Uh, can't do it. I can't literally can't do anything. Um, okay, I'll protect Ko Kyoga and I'll go for a tailwind. Oh, I don't like socks, Ninja. This is the worst. I mean, what can we do now? I think we're gonna lose this one. Shininja's gonna kick our ass, possibly. Psychic, yeah, Tornadus going down, going down, and Shininja going for toxic. Yeah, yeah, Toxic's gonna try and kick our butts. Um, we'll get Rain. Ray, why haven't you got like an electric type attack? A grass type attack? Um, we'll go for a water spout and we'll go for. Well, I don't really want a dragon. I mean, we can go Dragon Ascent. I mean, it's like. Yeah, it's just going to come down to Shininja. It's going to just toxic everything. Uh, there's no way we can get around this either. We kind of need the Finny's terrain. This is why Shininja's just just ridiculous, isn't it? Mental Herb Finny. Really? I mean, it, it works, doesn't it? <laughs> there's the ally switch. Okay, well, we're delaying the... Um, uh, oh, this is... This is Rubbish, isn't it? Yeah. yeah the water spout's not going to do anything to this Lele now. We're just going to get. Yeah, why did we Mega Evolve? We, we shouldn't have Mega Evolved. Now Kyogre can't do anything. Ah, oh, my mind is just wrecked by Shininja. Um, we're going to have to Ice Beam, I think. And Dragon Ascent into the Lele. Because you're not going to switch the Shininja out. Doing it again every time. I'm just gonna forfeit this. I'm gonna take a loss here. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Yeah, there's a psychic again. Yeah. 
I don't know if my opponents picked up on now, now. Now the thing is, they're not gonna ally switch. Uh, I'll protect Kyogre, and I'm gonna just Dragon Ascent into the Lele. If they ally switch again, like this is the, yeah, we're, we're done. We're done. Yeah, they're thinking that we're gonna yeah go for the the Shininja again this turn, but we're not gonna do that. It's like the combination of all the, the annoying things in one Pokemon. Um, combined with Sock and combined with Mental Herb. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Uh, it's a Toxic. It's going to start. Uh, oh, the Groudon are going to come in now. And then they're going to ally switch. Did they ally switch though? They probably do. It doesn't matter at this point. We can't win this game. We just can't beat the, the Shininja. There's like no way for us to do it. I really want to just get the ground on and then just forfeit, but at, at, at this point, it's kind of pointless. We could just move on to another game. We could do that, but let's not. Let's let's just try and get this ground on. Let's um, go ice beam and dragon ascent. They're probably going to ally switch here for sure. Oh, they don't. They don't. Okay, depends how fast this ground on is. Uh, whether we get the ice beam off or whether a Presbyterian blades comes out or whether it's going to be an eruption. I don't know. Could be any of the above, couldn't it? Who knows? Oh, we are faster, so we get rid of the Groudon. Although it doesn't really make any difference, like I say. Um, <clears throat> so the sunlight does fade. Toxic. Toxic everything. So we will forfeit this next turn and say good game to my opponent. And this is the win con that you get if you play Shininja with Mental Herb Tapu Fini. Nothing can stop you. Except Tapu Koko, which we lost turn one because of the switch in. And poor Koko. Oh, if we only had Koko, it would be all fine now. We should have probably thought about that a little bit more. Um, and rather than risking the Volt switch out and risking the potential knockout there, kept it around and maybe switched in something like Rare. At that point, we're being a little bit better, I think. And then we still got the Taunt onto the Finny in that situation, uh, although. The mental herb was a thing and it didn't even stay in at that point but good game to my opponent that's a first loss this week and it would typically be to shininja so we will move on i'm sad by that the flawless victory is taken away from us right under our feet by a little shininja nine ones like eight ones still not too bad is it it's not too bad we could go nine one i guess Oh, we could go 8-2. It could go anywhere, couldn't it? It could go anywhere. So we'll just have to see what happens. We'll go on to this next one. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an ex-opponent. Um, and just like magic, Mayo appears from um, Japan. So we'll get straight into Team Pre. And they've got a team of Rayquaza, Tornadus, Kyogre, Snap, and then made up with Cresselia, Incineroar, and Ferrothorn. So, an unfamiliar face in, in Cresselia that we don't see too often these days, uh, but a pleasant surprise nonetheless. Um, okay, I think Incineroar here is going to be really useful for us. Um, outside of the Kyogre, it doesn't do too bad, and the Intimidate is so useful against that Rayquaza, so I will bring it. Um, we haven't really been bringing it very much at all. But the Intimidate here could be useful. Um, also against the Cresselia, it just walls it and it does a decent job against the Ferrothorn. And the Fake Out support is pretty nice as well. Um, so we'll go Incineroar. Um, I do want Coco here. I think we want Tornadus. Coco. Do we want Kyogre or do we want... Rayquaza. Hmm. Hmm. Kyogre. The other thing is as well that Cartana could be quite good here. I just don't know. Like the only other option to, to drop outside of Incineroar is for Ray. Um, but now we'll go with it. We'll go with this because I haven't really brought Incineroar all week. Or I don't feel like I have. I don't know if there's been like one match maybe we've brought it. Uh, yeah, I think there was. And I think it was on Tuesday's episode. The second game in Tuesday's episode. We brought it. But outside of that, we haven't brought it at all. Which is strange for um, a Pokemon that is super, super strong. Um, 
and like one of the most popular Pokemon in the format, uh, to not bring it is a little bit surprising. So we're going to see Cresselia and Kyogre come out. I'd imagine we'll probably see a Trick Room from this Cresselia. Um, we could taunt. Uh, the thing is, though, I could just switch Tornadoes out. And, like, I expect the Cresselia probably have Mental Herb again and just don't want to get stung by it, like, twice in a row. And I'm going to fake out the Kyogre here. Um, we could taunt the Cresselia. I don't know what if that's really helping us. It definitely helps, like, not having the Trick Room up, for sure. Doesn't really help us out too much in the next turn, though, if that's the case. Uh, where we'd be better off just going into maybe our own Kyogre here. And at least we got the Snarl the next turn with our Incineroar. We've got to pivot out with the U-turn if we want to in the opposing Kyogre. We might just see an Icy Wind as well. Oh, Kyogre's going to switch out. Okay, what's coming in? Incineroar. Hmm. Okay. I don't mind that too much. We'll fake out into the Incineroar. They're going to fake Kyogre out the next turn. But it gives us the opportunity to U-turn out on the Cresselia. I think, for sure. Do we see? And just an Icy Wind. Okay. That's maybe better than a Trick Room. But I, would, I wouldn't go as far as to say that it hasn't got Trick Room right now. Um... But there's not really anything I want to switch in. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go for the U-turn on Cresselia, and I think we'll just do we protect or do do I even really care about just going for a water spot? I think uh, you're gonna fake out into the Kyogre, and if you don't, then we punish them not faking out Kyogre here and getting a bit cheeky and maybe going far in Cinnar to prevent the U-turn. So we'll see what my opponent decides to do. Hmm. Taking their time, thinking about it. I'm gonna just die laughing if they don't fake out a Kyogre here though, because it'll put us in such a good position going forward in this match. Cresselia gonna switch out, I'm gonna see Kyogre come back in, which is fine. Um, I think this opens it all for us to get either Coco there's a fake out here, nice safe play. Yeah, that's fine. Um, or Rayquaza onto the field. Um, and honestly, it might be better to get... Oh, we haven't got Ray. we got Coco. So Coco's just the option. Because we could just go for Thunder into the Kyogre and a Water Spout. Um, the other option is, is going for a Volt Switch into Incineroar. Uh, predicting that the Kyogre protects. Um, and the Incineroar switches out into Cresselia. Which is what I'd imagine my opponent to probably do here. Um, it's just if we do that. And the Kyogre doesn't protect and it goes for an attack. Then uh, not in the greatest position. And I'd rather get damage onto the Kyogre here. Um, and just kind of cover that slot rather than leave it kind of open just to do whatever. But it does protect. That's fine. Uh, I mean, we're going to get the Incineroar now. We... Or is it going to outspeed us before? Yeah, it gets a Snarl off. So that Icy Wind coming in pretty clutch for my opponent here. The Water Spot's still going to do a decent amount of damage though. Um, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, it's our salt vest. Maybe. Could be. Um, what we'll do is we will Volt Switch out on the Kyogre. I'll switch our Kyogre out for Tornadus. Because I think Tornadus will be able to come in and take uh, a Water Spot after a Volt Switch. And I imagine my opponent probably wants to go Origin Pulse if it stays in, but it doesn't stay in. So we're just going to see the Cresselia come back out onto the field. Um, we'll probably see the Incineroar. Either you turn or snarl again, I'd imagine. Uh, 
um, but we can definitely get our Incineroar back out onto the field. I think that's probably better at this point to avoid another Snarl coming out from my opponent's Incineroar. <clears throat> if it does, but it's likely to maybe go U-turn to get their Kyogre back out onto the field. Oh, just Snarl, okay. So Tornado's avoiding, that is helpful for us, for sure. Um, And we could, well, we can fake out the Cresselia and taunt it as well. Um, hmm. Or we could just U turn the Cress. Because I think the fake out's pretty obvious from us, but it might be nice just to shut down the Cresselia anyway and just switch into back into Kyogre, really. I don't really see another Snarl coming out at this point. I'd see a U-turn coming out from the Incineroar, which makes, in my head at least, the Kyogre coming back in a little bit safer from Snarl damage. Chris, are you going to switch? Ooh, Ferrothorn coming out. Okay. Do we see the U-turn? It's a nice play for my opponent, getting that additional damage onto our Incineroar with the Iron Barbs, for sure. And um, there's a U turn, yeah. Into Ice and I imagine Kyogre come out now. This is where Rayquaza would have been really, really useful. Because um, now we are in a bit of a pickle if the Kyogre does come onto the field. Because uh, it can't physically attack the Ferrothorn with Incineroar that we kind of need to. Um, <clears throat> What do I do? Uh, I don't really want to lose Incineroar like so freely, um, but switching into anything like Tornadus is probably the best we can do and protect our Kyogre. We've got to open the door to try and get uh, Tapu Koko out into the field and maybe start making a few more predictions here because my opponent's at the minute, really controlling the board. Uh, there's an Origin Pulse. Tornado should take this. Yep. Okay. <sighs> Where's the Gyro Power Whip coming into our Kyoka? Okay. Right, now. Do we Tailwind now? Or do we just double into the Ferrothorn? I'm going to Water Spout and Hurricane into the Ferrothorn. We might lose our Kyogre here, but I want to get damage onto this Ferrothorn. Uh, I feel like this is like all, all in and probably not the right play to do. Like Tailwinding here might be the better option because I don't think a hurricane and water spout is going to actually pick up the knockout on the ferrothorn. It's just whether it switches here. Yeah. Okay. That's what we wanted to see. Now, uh, a hurricane probably doesn't get the incineral. Uh, and it, if we expect. It's probably switching there because it thinks that uh, this has got the Z move. Yeah, it's definitely a salt fest incineral. Um, we are the outspeeding, so that's that's useful. We we'll get extra damage onto both. We we'll take down the Incineroar, we'll get a little bit of chip onto the Kyogre. Uh, it doesn't really help us against the Ferrothorn, but at least we've got. Oh, we avoid. Okay, we get pretty lucky there. Uh, at least we've still got Incineroar on the back. Um, I'd imagine Cresselia to come back in now. Utilize those icy winds. Uh, yeah. We'll set up a trick room. That could be the other option there, which we could do. And just to deny that, maybe go for um, a taunt into that slot. And scald. we could scald it as well, just to get some damage onto it because of how much of a pain it actually is and how much support it can offer the whole team. I just don't want the, the trick room going up. I don't mind an icy wind coming out. We can get around that with Tailwind if Tornadus gets through this turn. That's nice damage there. 
uh, ice beam. They're going to take down tornadoes. Yep. And do we see the trick room? I think we probably do. I'd imagine. No, just icy wind, which isn't the worst at all. Because now we get Cork onto the field. Um, and we can really play it on the fact that Kyoga Ha is pretty threatened. Um, by Tapu Koko, the Ferrothorn probably comes in on that slot. Um, I don't think we're in the worst position at all here. Yeah, we'll go for Thunder into it there, and we'll just Scald again into the Cresselia. It's likely got a barrier, I'd imagine the Cresselia. But if we can land a, a Thunder into Kyogre, then we, we I think we just win. Because then Incineroar just wins this game. Once the Kyogre goes down, Incineroar's super, super fine. But as long as, it, like, you've got to think, like, if you if my opponent switches a Kyogre out at any point, it opens it all for us to switch Incineroar in. Um, so, and then as long as we do that for Kyogre, we've got a nice switch in for opposing water type attacks for our Incineroar. And as long as Coco's, like, not minus two, it's still... Um, in a decent position to, um, to put some pressure on. We are going to see the Ferrothorn switch in, the Kyogre Protect. Yeah, yeah, threat of. But we get a free Scald onto the Ferrothorn, which is nice. Yeah, and you've got to imagine the next turn. Depending if we get a burn as well, this would be huge for us. That's big damage. No burn, no burn. Um, Cresselia has to switch in now, I think, for the, the, the Kyogre. It has to. But what we can do is switch in Aaron Sinroll, kind of checking the Kyogre. So uh, if the Kyogre stays in on my opponent's end, it's going to go down. So it gives us that free switch into Incineroar. Um So we've got no worries here. And we don't want to uh, just leave the Kyogre on the field anyway in front of the Ferrothorn. So uh, we should take a Gyro Ball from the Ferrothorn as well into Coco. If I'm making sense here, yeah, I don't feel like I am. I'm just jabbering at this point. Uh, Intimidate coming out, which is useful onto the Ferrothorn as well. Uh, Thunder, does it hit? It does. This is useful damage onto this Cresselia. Um, it's not taunted anymore. Yeah, I'm pocking a berry. Okay. The problem is, though, the Kyogre's got that free switch in. Uh, there's a Gyro Ball. It's into Coco. Yeah. Oof, that does so much damage. That does so much damage. Man. Um, oh, okay. I'm going to protect Coco. And. Do I just snarl? Because I imagine the, the Kyogre to come back in. Or could you turn? Oh, onto the Cresselia. Yeah, it might be better doing that. I think the worry here would be if your ball's in enough, you go for a power whip into the Ferrothorn slot. Uh, the, the Incineroar slot with Ferrothorn. Uh, Ferrothorn gonna protect. Okay, that's fine. Look, we'll see what this Cresselia does. Probably gonna go for an Icy Wind. But Coco's like the most important thing for us here. We don't want, like, a Trick Room going up here would be pretty bad for us, actually. Be really bad for us, actually, yeah. That's like the worst kit, yeah. <laughs> there it is, the Trick Room. It is in play, okay. Um, it's not the end of the world. It's gonna happen at some point, I think. Uh, but we'll protect Kyle this turn and bring Incineroar in. Uh, hopefully we don't see a leech seed out from my opponent onto the Coco slot and more like a gyro ball. We can still win this one. It's just getting through these trick room turns. And there's there's definitely a turn that we can try and take advantage of um, the next turn. It's not going for a fake out, I'm going for a flare blitz into the Ferrothorn, switching out a Kyogre into Coco. And hope my opponent doesn't switch out their Cresselia into their Kyogre that turn. There's a Gyro Ball into the Incineroar. Yeah. Light screen coming out. Nice. Okay. 
it's only has shown its worth. <sighs> the problem with doing this, right, is I go Flare Blitz into the Ferrothorn. I switch out Kyogre into Coco. They switch in there, Kyogre. I mean, it's not really... It's... I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Although, is there any reason for them to keep Cresselia on the field right now? Not really. It makes sense to get the Kyogre in. It really does. So it's kind of pointless going for that play. Whereas if we go for a Snarl... But I've got to try and do it because otherwise we're just going to be in the, kind of the, the same cycle as always. Yeah, I mean, we had to try. This is where Rayquaza would have been just so much better. Power Whip will probably take us down now. Yeah, and this locks the game for my opponent, really. Because we can't we can't physically attack the Ferrothorn. We can't really do anything to the, the Kyogre. Uh, the other option there would have been potentially um, Snarling and protecting Kyogre. Uh, but we would have been kind of in this same bolt the next turn where we have to switch out into Coco, although it does give us a bit more room to get around potential um, uh, trick room turns because that's what we've got to stall out at the minute I mean the one thing we could potentially do is, is bank on a power whip miss, uh, which we, you never really want to do, but it could happen we go snarl, power whip, it doesn't miss, it does connect, we're not going to take it I don't think, oh we do take it can we take an Origin Pulse? That's the thing. Origin Pulse could miss, for sure. And then we get the Skull Burn on Ferrothorn. Incinero Robot. Ah! Uh, <laughs> we needed it to avoid on the other one. Yeah, that's that's too much for us. Yeah, not gonna happen. I don't think we deserved it after this. I think, like, my opponent, like, this call that they, they brought, it's so difficult to break down, and the, the Cresselia really provides that nice option to kind of just bring in speed control setter and it, it's yeah we've not got as much to deal with it as as you maybe like to have um in like a lunala team or something like that it's uh, it's a lot more difficult to deal with um without the belt or lunala dong wings or anything like that so um a little bit awkward but i think we're going to lose this one origin pulse does connect single target even minus two should take us down yeah, and good game to my opponent. So, oh, two losses today. Not great to end the week up on, but uh, you know what? That This last one is fine. Uh, a really well-played game from my opponent, and uh, the one before was Shininja, so I'm not going to let that count, are we? Um, but it's been a lot of fun this week. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see this team progress and play it again next week, or if you'd like to see something mixed up. It would be great to hear your opinions on that, and we'll come back on Monday with more. VGC 2020 action. Have a great weekend, my friends, and I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.